All right, so this is the tutorial for pipetting. First, you're gonna need a glass pipette, something like this. This one goes from negative two to nine millimeters, milliliters, my bad. You're gonna need a pipetter or a pipette bulb. These serve the same purpose, so you use whichever one you're more comfortable with. And then obviously, whatever liquid you're using, I'm just using water to demonstrate, and some place to put your measured liquid. So the first most important, one of the most important steps is to rinse your pipette thoroughly. First, you can't just rinse it with regular water because that might not get everything out. So use some of the soap, the turga, turgazyme soap, the Elkanox, whatever you want to call it. Um, with this size pipette, you just want a minimal amount, something kind of close to that. You're going to take it, put it in the pipette, or the sink of course. Oops. All right. Got some soap in there. And now, one of the more important techniques with the pipette is rinsing it properly. Just turn the water on just a little. And now, I have some water in my pipette. And what I'm doing is I'm rotating it so the water gets to all the surfaces inside the pipette and thoroughly washes it out. Now, Dry it. Okay, so once you have thoroughly washed your pipette. Okay, once you've thoroughly washed your pipette, you can start the second part of your cleaning process, I guess. For the pipetter, it has few main parts. There's the button, which when you have your pipette filled releases it. I'll show you that in a minute. There's also this wheel, which helps you suck up the water or chemical into the pipette. Make sure with both of these that you don't get any chemical or water into them because it's hard to get out. Obviously it's a closed system. Okay, so I'm going to use the pipette because I'm more comfortable with it. What you're going to do is you're going to put it in the water and you're going to take the open end of it gently, and I repeat gently because a lot of people have broken these, seal it onto the top. Once you've done that, you're going to take the wheel and start to roll it downwards so that this starts to rise. When it does that, see I'm sucking the liquid up into it. So for this step, you only need a little bit of your liquid. So I'm gonna let mine out. See with the button. I'm gonna let. Oh. I'm gonna bring more up into it just so it's easier for me to slack. Okay. So I got it most of the way full. I need to detach this. I still have a bunch of my liquid in here, but I only need a very small amount. So I'm doing the same thing that I did with the soap. I'm rotating it so that I clean all of the inside with my chemical. I'm just using water and theoretically, if you're pipetting water, once you wash it with water, you don't need to wash or do what I'm doing right now. This is just so that the pipette is filled with the chemical that you're using and it, the previous water from rinsing in the sink doesn't dilute your solution or chemical. So theoretically, I don't need to do this because I'm using water, but I'm going to anyways to show you guys how. Once you've done that, you can put this into your waste beaker, which is over here. And now you're ready to pipette. So the measurements on the pipette go from zero up here to nine down here. What you need to do is you need to, I'll use the bowl, actually no. I'll use the pipe for this, still. You're going to attach it again, you guys know how to do. And you're going to wheel up your solution until you get to that zero mark. All right, so mine is filled to the zero mark. Make sure you don't drip it anywhere. Actually I can't because it's water. You see, it's basically the zero mark. I lost a little bit coming over here. 
but once it's there, this one goes down to nine. So you use this button I showed you earlier and put the pipette into your empty container and press the button. You're counting downwards. So because the zero starts here, I'm now down to the one. So that's one milliliter down to the two. That's two milliliters, three, four, five, there. I'm at um, seven milliliters. So now I'm at seven milliliters. You can do this with however much solution or chemical or water that you need, but that's all I'm gonna use for now. That's basically all you need to know for pipetting. Um, make sure you wash everything after you use it. But if you're confused on how the bulb works, it's a little bit more difficult in my opinion, but you basically have the same setup what you do is you squeeze the bulb so that there's no air in it, attach it to the top of the pipette and slowly let go so that it the it gets pulled up into the vacuum. Instead, when you push this in, there's not enough air in it, so it needs to fill with air when you let it go. What it's doing is it's taking that suction and just applying it to your pipette so it pulls the water up into there or chemical. In my opinion, I like to use a pipette butter, but that one worked really well. I got it to the one mark. So that's basically all you need to know for pipetting. Make sure a lot of people forget to do the second rinsing just because it's like, okay, it's not going to affect it that much. It will because it'll dilute your solution and screw up your experiment. I can speak from experience on that. Um, make sure you wash everything afterwards and do the rinsing process every time you use a new solution. So...